Welcome back. This is Blind Faith Episode 3, and today we're going to be doing an untested Merlin fit. This is the fit right here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and test it out and see how it does. Um, it says it can do gamma and exotic, but I'm going to start with gamma, and we're going to give it a go. So stay tuned. Hey, it's Anakron here, and I am going to continue with my Blind Faith series. This is episode three, and we are going to be using a Merlin. We are going to be doing two different ones, but not in this video. This video, we are going to start with the exotic. We're going to do a tranquil exotic. Here is my fit. This is untested from Abyssal Tracker, and we are going to test it and see how well or how well it doesn't work so already in a fleet and let's go 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 and we are off into the abyss now a little bit worried I only have like 65 DPS with this so um, I don't know how tough or not tough it's gonna be but we will find out. It is very tight on cap, so I am going to have to be very, very careful with how much I use my repper, my shield repper. But this should be pretty good. It's going to be fun, nonetheless. All right. And he is within range. So we're just going to turn this on a little bit at a time. Oh, he is doing a lot of damage. So what I am going to do is I am going to go ahead and try to get in close. And I'm going to try to web him. See if I can slow him down and do more damage. So we are already finding ourselves low on cap. So I'm going to turn off my afterburner. And see how we're doing. Our cap is coming back. We're not taking quite as much damage. So this might have been the thing to do to start with. But he is falling back a little bit without the, um, after, uh, it's a micro warp drive. Let's get in there, get a little bit closer again, so we can keep that, um, web on him. There we go. All right. So now we can just run that as we head over here. Very nice. Or I should say noise, noise, very noise. One of my friends used to say that all the time. Very noise, very noise. And it kind of sticks with you. All right, so we're going to let our cap jump up a little bit here while we head over. And take this out. There we go. Now, this is definitely not going to be one of my quicker ones. But, I mean, really, we're not doing too bad. Three minutes in, we've got everything dead. We're on our way there. But it is very tight on cap. All right. So we've got our first one done. So we are going to go ahead and go to our next room. And I'm going to go ahead and rep this. Get rid of that. So we go in with zero damage. All right. 
And by the time we get there, our capacitor should be full again. Well, maybe not her. It should be close anyway. Seems like this fit might be better for electrical and might be a little bit more cap stable. All right. Jump into our next room and what do we have? All right, Lucid Escort. So we're gonna go ahead and approach. I'm gonna let my cap build up a little bit and then once he gets here, um, we're gonna go ahead and then we'll get everything set. Go ahead, we'll start shooting him. And we'll go ahead and get him webbed. And that should help. go ahead and run this a little bit here keep us from taking any more damage he's going down pretty easy and we are set so we're going to go ahead and use our micro warp drive i may look at refitting this with an afterburner it won't be as quick but um might be a little bit more suited. Um, this micro warp drive makes it definitely fast, but it just takes up so much, so much of its um, cap. And so I may look at um, trying this again, but trying it with a afterburner instead. So. One mil on this one, I think it was about 600 mil on the last one, so definitely not bad. All right, we're gonna go ahead and slow boat over there, 1347, so we're just um, seven minutes in, so definitely not bad. Let's go ahead and get rid of the rest of our damage. There we go. And we will let that raise just a touch. I love the way these things look. They are so bad. All right, that should be close enough. Let's go ahead and jump in and head into our last room. So, so far, not bad. Camp issues just seem to be the um, main thing. All right, so we got a striking Damovic. Shouldn't be too bad. They do cause quite a bit of damage, but I think I can um, get him down before... Um, he causes too much damage to me. That web makes him nice and slow, and um, it takes him a while to ramp up his damage. And without using the micro warp drive, I'm saving a lot of cap so I can pulse this a little bit here and there and keep the damage down. He's already halfway through his armor. Yeah, his damage is picking up a bit, but it's still nothing bad. And he's falling back. I'm going to lose that. That'll also pick my cap up a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and pulse this. And he is done. 
So we are going to go ahead and approach this. And I would say this is a successful run. I really would. Um, the cap is really the only thing that I worry about. Because other than the cap, um, does a decent amount of damage. I mean, my, my skills are low. These are T1 guns. But, um, you know, definitely sufficient for a... Um, for a tranquil. So, I'm going to give this fitting one and a half thumbs up instead of two thumbs up. It's pretty good. I like it. I am definitely going to try it with an afterburner. So, if you've enjoyed watching this video, go ahead and press that like button and let me and YouTube know how I'm doing. Press the subscribe button and then the notification button. That way you're notified when I go live and when I put in new content. So um, that is it for now. I will definitely try this in the um, exotic one next. And till next time, as always, fly dangerous.